selecting in Photoshop, Red Eye. When a camera flash is fired directly into a person's face, the light can reflect back from the subject's retina, giving a red spot in the centre of the eye. This is not as common these days as it used to be, mainly because many cameras have a facility that can avoid it. If the person is not looking directly at the camera, or if the flash is a little distance from the camera, then red eye won't happen. We've got red eye on this picture here, and the red eye tool can remove it very easily. I'll increase the image size a bit on the screen, move it around, holding the space bar, the cursor turns to the hand tool, so we can get the eyes in the centre of the picture. The red eye tool is with the healing brushes, the last one here in the set. The default settings in the options bar are at 50%, so we'll start with these values. The cursor is across, and we just click on the red in the eye and that gets filled immediately with black. The black circle will have a feathered edge. Usually the default settings will be fine, but if the feathered edge leaves a hint of red, then pupil size can be increased. I'll just undo that with Ctrl Z or Command Z and push it up to 60%, see if it's any better. Slightly. Darkness is also 50%. So the black can be increased if you want to, just by increasing that amount with this slider. Another click on the other eye, and there we have it. The red eye disappears straight away. That's all there is to it. There's the result, before and after. Next up is the pen tool, which is much more useful. 